Hello, welcome back to the Puzzle Pleasure Channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at one of the four bags that I got at Goodwill recently. Uh, it's still just a cursory look. We're now going to dig the next layer deeper, pull out all the individual bags, and just take a peek maybe from the outside of the bags and see what's in store for us. And then uh, in future videos we'll dig into each of these bags and lay out all the stamps in detail. So this should be a fairly short video. First up, we have this really nice German Empire bag. German Empire and a little bit more. It's a plump bag. It, uh, it has easily a thousand stamps in it. I'm, I haven't counted them, of course. Um, we see right on top, hopefully this is in view, uh, general government. We have some early Germany, a 10 Fenning, a 20 Fenning, I mean. Uh, Reich Post, uh, Württemberg, some... Um, I'd say late 40s, or I well, can't, not late 40s technically, but um, late 30s, early 40s um, wartime empire stamps uh, sitting right on the surface. French zone. Uh, so, really neat stuff. Obviously, some officials, Dean Smart stamps hiding in there. Of course, the large inflations. And Germania series, more uh, some hyperinflation, Dean Smart or official. I see an airmail hiding behind there. Uh, looks like at least one DDR stamp in this lot. Uh, but again, this is just the outside of the pile. Um, we're going to dig into this, and this bag here alone will probably do um, four or five videos uh, as we dig into them. So uh, please uh, look forward to those. Setting this one aside, what's up next? I'll leave the loose stamps till last. Looks like Cayman Islands. Um, and, and I have taken a, a quick uh, cheap peek at these, and most of the bags are a single country. So uh, it looks like we have um, a small sampling of Cayman Islands. Uh, these will be fun. I'll probably do some of the smaller bags first because they're easier, uh, maybe less work to incorporate into my collection than uh, digging into something as complex and large as that German bag. So again, look forward to some Cayman Islands soon. And up next we have, you know, a pretty nice pinch of uh, Cameroon. Um, and, and by the way, all these stamps look quite good. I haven't um, noticed any of the typical um, sticking or curling uh, that you often get with maybe a neglected collection. I'm not seeing a lot of um, toning or stains or fingerprints. So, um, you know, really lucky to get such a high quality lot at such a bargain. Uh, very happy with these. So, Cameroon is another one to be looking forward to in the near future. This is a bigger bag, a few hundred stamps here of Chile. Uh, and it looks like we might have a few earlier ones here. I mean, not super early, but fairly early. Uh, turn of the century, one side or the other is my guess. Um, let's see, not much to see on this side. Uh, we have obviously some later ones hiding behind there. But uh, Chile will be uh, quite a, a bit of work to go through that. Up next we have, and oh, I noticed this one when I was going through, I'll be doing this one soon, uh, the Canal Zone. Um, neat, you know, I have quite a few stamps from Canal Zone, but nothing of this quality. It's just um, ones I pull out, out of bulk boxes here and there. Um, so these are going to be really fun to add to my collection. Looking forward to digging into these. Uh, looks like maybe 20 or so stamps. So, that, I mean, that's pretty good for the Canal Zone. Can't wait. Okay, so next up is some more modern stamps uh, from Burundi. Those will be neat. Usually they're um, very pictorial, if you will. What do we see here? Burma. That's always nice. I only have a few stamps from Burma. Uh, currently it's called Manamar. Uh, but I like the Burma name. Uh, so these will be fun to go through. A nice elephant there with a rider carrying a log. Can't wait to see the rest of those. I wonder what that Mills Adam means. Looks like Bulgaria. Um, a nice set of um, Bulgarian uh, commemoratives for the most part. See what I suspect are a lot of canceled order here. That's no surprise for Bulgaria. But some older ones as well on the back side of the, um, of the, uh, of the bag here. So this will be fun to add. Bulgaria produces a lot of stamps. Uh, these look French by design. Let's see what they say. Um, Central African Republic. Yeah, very nice. Some air mails. So those are really nice for people that like airplane stamps. I certainly do. And uh, just one more we see on the back. A more modern one. 
those will be neat as well. I mean, I really can't wait to get into these. Looks like we have some Morocco. I can't tell if this is Spanish or French Morocco. Uh, Cabo Judy, actually. Uh, so I see Cabo Judy written in there. A little more detail. Yeah, neat. And then we have uh, quite a bag from Celion. Um, Celion, yeah. There's uh, probably over 50 stamps there. That'll be neat as well. Some early ones. That's great. What do we have next? A big bag feels like closer to 100 stamps. And it looks like uh, East Germany, uh, DDR. For the most part, yeah. I don't see any that aren't that on the top. That's always good. I have quite a good German collection. I always like to add more. Let's see, we have a glass scene here from Fume, if that's how you pronounce that. I have a couple stamps from there, but not many. So uh, nice to add uh, what I see is maybe four or five more. Those will be fun to get into. That'll be a quick video. Maybe add it to another video, another small lot. And here's another small lot right here. Cape of Good Hope. Yep. So um, some of these are fairly common, some are less so. Um, we'll have to look at these and see which ones they are. That'll be nice. So Cape of Good Hope as well. There's another glass scene, this time from Sierra Leone. Looks like uh, maybe about 10 stamps. Some larger ones in there as well. Those will be neat. And getting down there on bags. Um, what do I have here? Chad. Uh, so again, generally with Chad in these um, middle century ones, we have uh, some canceled orders, but uh, some great pictorials as well. And a few of these might be mint. So we have butterflies, flower art, and whatnot. We'll see what else we find. And then with some of the earlier Chad, which are the French stamps, French Equatorial, Africa, Equatorial Francaise, uh, with the Chad logo there. Those will be neat. Um, a lot of the ones I have with this series have been stuck to other things, so I'm hoping that these are you know, fairly clean and uh, will improve my collection if I already have them at all. Let's see, another glassine. This glassine has some Thailand. Uh, it looks like lower denominations. Thailand can sometimes have some pricey stuff, but generally it's in line with um, how high the denomination is. Uh, so we'll see if there's anything higher hiding behind that. And then lastly, it looks like we have a U.S. bag, U.S. envelope. Um, looks like some mint uh, 40s, most likely, maybe 40s and 50s uh, commemoratives. And obviously this cut square from Postal Stationery. Uh, those will be nice. Uh, I, I know these are super common and have very little value, but my collection from U.S. stamps is mostly a boyhood collection. And I don't have nearly as many mints as I have used, so definitely some opportunities to upgrade there as well. And loosen the bag. I'm going to leave these in this bag for right now, but it looks like we have some Nepal, um, some Egypt, New Zealand, and maybe a smattering of others. We'll leave them there just so I don't uh, lose them for now. But uh, really excited to dig into these bags a little bit deeper in the near future. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this has you excited for some upcoming videos. Let me know which of those you might like to see first. Thank you.